Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to measure hydrogen correctly. And you know, this is important because gosh, two of the most important things, everybody's talking about the benefits of hydrogen and hydrogen is amazing, but probably two of the most important things that nobody seems to be talking about is one, how to make hydrogen safely and correctly. And then they're also not talking about how to measure it correctly because this is something that's just really important. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you guys some things. First, let's start with this. This is an ORP meter. This is not a hydrogen measuring device. A lot of people think that it is. It's not, guys. This is probably one of the worst ways to measure hydrogen. Why? Well, because it doesn't actually measure hydrogen at all. It's not detecting any amounts of hydrogen. You really can't go off an ORP reading. Just because you get a negative ORP does not automatically mean that something is good for you. This thing should literally be used for something like I don't know, like swimming pools or hot tubs or something. Using such a device, and fortunately, even buying something like this, it's just, it's a waste of money. It's not accurate. And if you see a company that literally relies on such a device to show you, you know, how much a product, like as far as how much hydrogen it's, it's making, then you need to question their information, not just their information, but their knowledge about hydrogen in general, and even the devices that they're promoting, because this is definitely just shows unfortunately some ignorance as far as their hydrogen knowledge. Let's go ahead and move forward. I mean, there is another device here or a product. These MIZ drops or there's some other ones. It was another company that tried to copy these. I think it's called H2 Blue. These are also not accurate at all because they can actually interact with a bunch of different things within the water, how long they've been on the shelf, the size of the drops. There's so many different reasons why this product is definitely not the way to go. And here you can see the box here. This product has shown a lot of misreadings in Japan and they've had a lot of trouble with it because people get false readings and then they try to return their product and only to find out when they're actually measured correctly that everything's actually fine. And this is really definitely not the right way. And if you see a company or individual, again, trying to show you how much hydrogen something makes with such a product, again, you're gonna to wanna to question their knowledge about hydrogen because this is definitely not the right way to do it either, guys. This right here is the correct way to measure hydrogen. So let me just show this to you guys and show you how it works. So that way, you guys can actually see how it's done correctly by literally the company that has set the standard for hydrogen in the world. This little black thing here in this little glass jar, this is part of the device. The platform here that you're actually seeing is also part of the way this whole device works. Obviously this black box is also, and you'll notice that even in this inside this little jar that they're using, there's what appears to be like a little uh, white stick in there, and that's also part of the device. You're gonna see also that they're testing a 2019 premium edition Lourdes Hydro Fix. This is literally the new best hydrogen generator in the world. This is also setting the standard in the industry. It's one of the reasons that medical clinics in Japan literally rely on this device. This is what they use because it's literally the best machine at this time for making hydrogen. One of the things you're gonna see immediately is see how the thing is spinning around inside the jar. You can see the numbers already at 1.3 ppm and climbing. If it was the old model, which is a 2018 Lourdes Hydrofix model, it makes about what you're seeing right now. It was probably around 1.4. Maybe if you're really, really lucky, you might get to like 1.5, but that's about the levels that it typically makes. And let me just show you here also, if you were to lift up this little jar, for example, off the platform, what you would actually notice, if you look actually really closely, that little device inside this little jar that's spinning, it would probably stop or start flickering around. Oh, here, check it out. It starts slowing down and then it starts flickering around because this platform is part of the way that the device actually functions. And what you're gonna see here, let's see here, let's just see the reading. You're at 1.633 ppm. Now what this tells you, for a lot of people who, who don't know about this, let me try to get a better focus here. 1.6 ppm is basically full saturation, guys at our atmospheric pressure. So it lets you know, not just that this little water here, but again, you can't really see the picture, but this whole picture is completely saturated with very clean hydrogen. It is not mixed with anything like oxygen, for example, which you really don't wanna do for such a device. Oxygen's a whole other thing. Pure hydrogen is what they're finding out is ultimately the best. If you wanna use oxygen, that's a whole other thing, but that's not what they're measuring here at all. And I can make, I've made other videos about it and I can make other videos in the future about it. But you're basically getting very clean hydrogen that is completely safe for anybody to use, including babies, you know, infants, even pregnant women. This is the correct way to do it, guys. 
Now, one of the interesting things is, again, a lot of people were using such products in Japan like this and getting false readings. So what the company started doing, which has just completely crazy, they literally test every single machine they make and certify, they get a certificate with a bunch of detailed information showing exactly how much hydrogen your actual machine makes, with even down to the serial number, so you know exactly how much you're making, which again is one of the reasons that the medical facilities can rely on such a product, because they know that you're getting therapeutic grade hydrogen. Now, one of the things that I learned that was pretty interesting, apparently even this company with all the precision and all the detail that they do in Japan, one of the interesting things is that not, not all machines are created the same, guys. There's always gonna be differences, and they even have machines that they test that never meet their standard and never go out and um, into the marketplace and are for sale. So one of the things that I've been learning, interestingly enough, is all these products that come from like China and from places like Korea, they don't actually get tested. Most of these products just get shipped and sold and people never really know the, if they're getting the proper amounts of hydrogen or not. And again, this is really important when it comes to hydrogen and trying to get the most out of it, especially when it comes to health. And the other thing I would like to mention to you guys is, you know, Having such a device like this is just not realistic for somebody like normal person, even like myself, to be able to have such a device because apparently this equipment is rather expensive, way more than the hydrogen machine itself. But it's not just the expense of it. Apparently there's so much calibration that it needs continuously. It always needs to be calibrated. It's also very expensive to maintain and it's just way too difficult for the normal person to be able to do something like this. This is why this company literally figured out a way that they can help their customers, which me personally as a consumer, I'm really, really grateful for this, where they literally go and test every single one of their machines so that way they know that their customers are gonna be getting therapeutic grade hydrogen. And I just think that this is really great. I mean, again, they've literally set the standard on how it's done and still no companies are even doing it. So they're literally, that's one of the reasons that it makes them the number one company in the world. Not only because they're also making the hydrogen safely and getting all the proper levels, they're doing everything right as far as making the hydrogen, but also in regards to measuring it. And I just thought this was gonna be really, really important and helpful for everybody out there who really wants to get the most out of hydrogen and to really learn how to do this correctly. I mean, you can't really rely on, again, like drops or even when people are checking for like ozone or using all these little strips, they're just really, kind of, I would say, it's not really a professional way to do it. This is really a very professional way and basically correct way to do it. And I really hope that you guys found this video helpful and kind of excited as much as I was about it because I was really happy to not only learn this but to really get the proper footage and see how it should be done. And of course, Japan is literally the only place that's doing it. But I think in the future, eventually, people will come around and they'll realize that they're doing everything wrong in regards to things like measuring devices and things of that nature. But we're going through the growing pains, guys. I know in America, we, we just there's a lot of misinformation about hydrogen. For me, it's personally kind of disappointing. I think it's important that people get the proper information and to use it safely. To be honest, I've been getting people emailing me lately who have been having some issues with some of the devices that they've been using. And actually, some of them are even making them sick. And this, for me, is just really disappointing because I know in the industry, a lot of times, they just all they care is about making money. And that's what's frustrating to someone like myself who... I'm trying to educate people on the proper ways, not only to measuring it, but consuming hydrogen where it's completely safe and that you're also gonna get the best results that you can out of hydrogen. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did as usual, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and you know, don't forget to share it too if you think other people are kind of hydrogen geeks like me and they'll also enjoy such information. And definitely don't forget to hit the notification button, guys, because I got all sorts of other great videos that I plan on bringing your way. So that's it, guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the next one.